in early September, I had a bone marrow aspiration. Bone marrow is a great source for the kind of stem cells that we are going to be using in the stem cell infusions that are probably going to start in late February. I was told that the waiting period is about three months, maybe even a little bit longer, but I never really understood what they do for those three months. And people asked me all the time why, and I didn't have any answers. So we went to the lab to ask the right people those questions. I'm a research scientist at the Tisch MS Research Center of New York. Um, I am directing the laboratory part of the clinical trial uh, that is looking at the um, benefit of stem cells, bone marrow stem cells for multiple sclerosis. So I have developed a way to isolate what we call mesenchymal stem cells from bone marrow. Uh, and then we are culturing those cells in a laboratory like this. Eventually, re-injecting them back into the spinal fluid uh, in patients with MS. Now, this, now this, this process takes three months. Yes. What, step by step, what happens? So, the first thing that we do is we, uh, with the bone marrow sample, there are many different cell types. Um, have blood cells and cells and uh, other types of stem cells. So we want to separate out the stem cells that we're interested in, which are called mesenchymal stem cells. Um, and we do that by culturing them uh, in a petri dish. So this is a clean room. All of the air is filtered um, through a HEP filter and um, just so that we have a controlled environment. And the cells are grown in the incubator so she's opening the door. Uh, so right now we're in this stage. We are expanding the mesenchymal stem cells and they're grown in multiple layers in a, what we call a five stack, so five layers. So those are your two five stacks um, and we have some additional ones in the upper shelf. Um, and that red liquid is the liquid that they grow in along with your serum that we got mm -hmm. from your blood. So they're growing nicely. They look very happy. I looked at them today. Um, and so all of the work is done in a, inside that um, we call a hood and that's just uh, um, a sterile environment so that we don't have any contamination from the environment. Tell me about the characteristics of the mesenchymal stem cells. So mesenchymal stem cells are very interesting because they, um, they seem to have a lot of therapeutic effects. Um, and they're being tested in many different diseases. So we think how they work is they send out signals um, that do a number of things. So they send out signals to suppress the immune system or the immune response. Uh, they send out signals that might repair damaged tissue. But people with MS develop lesions for spine. And is that an example of the damaged area where they might be involved in the Possibly. And um, so we think that they, um, in, our, in our animal models, we found that the cells are able to kind of home in damaged areas, and that includes lesion areas, demyelinated lesions. Um, so they have this property where they can kind of detect where the damage is and, and get themselves there. Um, and when they get there, they send out signals that um, seem to create a permissive environment for repair. Okay, we've seen the clean room, we've seen the centrifuges, we've seen the microscopes. We've seen the mice. This is not the end of the story. This is just part way through. Um, I will be back again after the stem cell injections. We will show that to you. 
as we continue this journey.